I'm Tamsin Fidel. PIX11, in partnership with the Broadway Channel, brings you this Backstage on Broadway Extra. I don't know a lot. I know it's LA Ten Music, Marsalis is involved, hooray. And I know uh, Warren Carlyle, who is the director choreographer. We're friends. So all those components, are, I think, is going to make a real good show. And the word of mouth on it is very high. It was like a big collection, actually, in motion. And like we were just talking about problem solving, because it really is about how do you hide the, mic the mics? And how do you make sure that this garment stretches? and and doesn't break when they jump into the air. It's really amazing. Well, it's like seeing a painting come to life, yes. you know, because you're looking at this tableau, a living tableau, yes. and it keeps changing and morphing in front of your eyes due to the personality yeah. of the performance, yeah. and it's never the same twice. I'm, I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited to just see these young artists in their heyday doing their thing with great, great music, and I'm excited to see Fantasia sing and see what I have to follow. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm just a geeky, nerdy Fantasia fan. Uh, my wife and I watched the season of American Idol that she was on. And the minute she came on the screen, we said, that girl is going to win. There's a star quality that is, I think she's, between you and me, she's the best thing ever to come out of there. Words can, can't even describe uh, how excited I am. I'm going to see a lot of my friends that I've worked with before and just know from being in the community this music, Duke Ellington, you know, Wynton Marcellus putting his spin on it. I mean, come on, you can't miss. You can't. You cannot miss with this. Oh, because it's a it's a it's a type of music that can't be forgotten. You know, it's got to it's got to remain relevant. I feel because of the richness of it, and for new generations, it's got to remain present. I think you know everybody is out and they're clean and they're excited, and I think also the fact that it's Duke's great music, and you get to see the contemporary artists and their take on one of the great geniuses of all time. I think it's a great achievement for us in this time. I should hate you, but I guess I love you. You've kept me in between the devil and the deep. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here, thrilled after three and a half years of development and you know two productions at City Center to finally, finally be on Broadway. It's a big deal for us. I, I just, it's overwhelming, you know what I'm saying? I'm, so, I'm used to like doing, uh, I'll, I'll get booked for a show, go out there, do a show, come back, and that'll be it. And, th and this, I'm like, I'm out here for a year. I'm part of this project. I have all these people with me on the team and stuff. It's just, it's, it's awesome. It's crazy. It was fabulous. Great crowd. Wonderful energy from the audience, wonderful energy on the stage, that companionship between the audience and stage was just wonderful tonight. The energy was great. You know, it's just like, it keeps getting better and better, you know? And sometimes, like, like when I did Bring Your Noise, I realized that that was really something special. And this, is, this reminds me of that, just the energy, the energy that's the underlying current that's there. And the fact that people realize that we're not just here for ourselves, but we're here for all the performers who come before us. And we're, and we're a family. We're all supporting each other, loving each other, and feeding off each other. It's a, it's a, it's a gift, and I'm, I'm thankful to be here.